Yeah, but there's basically. really no other way to do that. Like, oh, 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 oh. that's where. <laughs> that was very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> you activated me. <laughs> So, so, a little bit different. So, <laughs> so, so, a little bit different. I built a thing. That's our faces. That's our faces. I built the HTTP 203 progressive web app. Ah. And this is for our podcast, because I don't know. Do, do you know? We do a podcast as well. Yeah, it turns out that podcast. most of the videos are actually podcasts just yeah. during the video. Yeah. I don't care about the video. Don't actually. They, they, the podcast really is where our hearts are. All right, we don't <laughs> give or take this, really. We just do this because we have to. Um, we were but this is this is the, this is so, a podcast. Oh, you built, so basically, you built a little little podcast, a little podcast yeah. app. Yeah. So and um, it works offline, of course it does. Um, but and you can download the episodes to, to to work offline, right? Right. Oh, that's neat. So what I'm going to do is, um, well, do you know what? I'm going to go onto a slower network because I think that's that's an interesting thing to do. So uh, so people can have a look at all the interesting networks we have here at Google. One of them, we have a three G network. So this is basically. Our proper interconnection, but the access point just makes it bad. Yes. So we have a quick exactly. way of testing how things behave on a bad network because that's usually quite interesting to look at. It is yes. So right, I'm going to download one of these episodes, uh, like that one. Okay. Um, and so it's downloading now. Um, oh. You'll see, you know, you'll see now. Oh, there's a mini progress bar. A look how cute! A mini tiny progress bar. And uh, so if I let's let's set this one off as well uh, as, a, as a shorter one now. This is kind of how things work on the web today, right? Yeah. It's slow, whatever. Um, but that's that's fine. But here's the problem: is if this app gets closed, which if I put the the phone, this is a big phone. Oh. <laughs> if I put the phone in my massive pockets, <laughs> uh, then at some point this is going to be collected yeah. from memory because yeah. you'll be using other apps. These devices don't have as much memory as other yeah. things. Uh, so we can sort of emulate that by, by doing this. Yeah, this is basically your phone in a pocket, and at some point the yep. camera goes, nope. And it might not be the whole browser. It might just be that tab's gone. Yep. Uh, and we go back in, and eh, wait, I downloaded this. Where, why is it not downloaded, Jake? What did you do? It, exactly. Write a better app. And because it's the, the tab was in charge of doing that download, yep. and the tab closed, and it stopped. Yeah, but there's basically. really no other way to do that. Like, <laughs> That's where <laughs> that was very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> you activated me. <laughs> um, things have changed. <laughs> so this is um, the Progressive uh, Web App based in Canary. It it's, looks the same. It looks the same. Uh, subtle little differences. Ooh, and look, look at that parallax. Parallax scrolling. This is uh, an animation worklet. Oh. I'm using all the modern things. We should link to that article that someone wrote about animation worklet in case people don't know what it's about. Yes, we should. Is that one of your articles, is it? It, it might be. Who knows? Excellent. Brilliant. People I, should go and find out. It is a good article, actually. I, and it is what I use to uh, figure this stuff out. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Uh, let's download um, Let's download these two. Brilliant. Okay. Now, some things are different. Oh, look. It's integrated like notifications. Integrated stuff. into notification. And we've got progress here. We've got the icon there. Um, that's neat. I'm going to do something magic. Uh, so oh, that's the that's the Chrome Beta one. That's the old way, and this is the Chrome Canary one. So they've Just gone out. Of close memory. them all. Close them. But look, it's still up there. It's still up there, and we can and, go back. Oh, that's neat. And okay, it's so still there. What what is this? What you're using? This is background fetch. That's a good name. This is a new it's a standard. fetch in the background, isn't it? Yes, it is. And so as you say, yeah, we you know it will it not just battle through. Um, Things like uh, you know, the app closing, mm. it will go through connection changes as well. So I'm actually going to switch networks. So that was, you know, it's going to cut the download. That's going to stop, uh, and then it's going to uh, you know, once it connects onto this this other network, it's essentially going to resume. But it will be able to resume from the same point it was at before. It's not lost, provided the server supports it. Provided the <laughs> server supports range requests. Good catch. Um, now the uh, it's going to start downloading a whole lot faster. There it goes. So we've just got one through, and the next one's through because this is fast network. And those it actually are works. That's amazing. And Who would have thought? They're now available offline. So is it still a fetch? Like, Is it still just a response object for me on the code side? Well, OK. I thought I'm we sorry. could have a look at this. So this is, this is how you would kickstart one of those things happening. OK. Uh, and like I said, I designed this API, so be nice. No, no, be brutal. Be brutal <laughs> and ask questions. Um, All right, so this is actually 
main thread code. This is not service worker code yet. So you're uh, just yes, getting the service worker register, waiting for the service worker to be ready, because I guess the service worker has something to do with it. Yes, it does. But you're kicking off it from the normal it, JavaScript. So it's, it's hooked off a service worker registration. Now, you mm -hmm. could still do this within a service worker or a worker. Yeah. Um, this is an example from a page. But yeah, it, it, it can be done elsewhere. So you get SW reg background fetch, fetch. Oh, it's just a new fetch call, which has seems to have the same parameters, just with a name at the start? It's it's slightly different parameters. So the, the oh, you, so you're right, it's a name at the start, and then it's URLs or response uh, request objects. And an array of these, even. An array of them, yes. And that's that's important, because we felt like if it's a, a podcast, could have artwork with it. Yeah. Movies could can be spread across thousands of files. That's True. And you want to have like one semantic group of yes. downloads, where you cancel one, you want to cancel all the other ones, and that's something it, you developer shouldn't have to re-implement, I guess. Exactly. exactly OK, that, that makes sense. And then the options objects, where you can give it a title. That's for the notification. Yeah. Icons, for the notification. And the download total, it's for the notification, kind of, as well. Because if you've I got- I can't figure that out. If you've got 1,000 downloads, mm. we don't want to block on oh. starting all 1,000 OK, so I guess the notification is mandatory. Like, you're not allowed to do a background fetch without the user knowing about it. Yes, and that's why, so you can do, you know, if you're fetching one thing, you don't need permission. Because mm. the idea is it's super visible. Like, yeah. it's in the notification tray. You can cancel it from there. Yeah. Um, so it, but if it's multiple things grouped into one notification, it's a bit yeah. OK, I see so that. It's the same pattern as proper downloads from a website. Mm -hmm. You can start one of those without any permission. If yeah. you're trying to do multiple at once, it will ask for permission. Okay. So will the download total get automatically corrected in case I provide a wrong value? Uh, no. It will be enforced. So this is one of the things we want oh. with the API. If you say this is um, 10 megabytes mm -hmm. and you go beyond 10 megabytes, then you get canceled. OK, what if I do give too much? If you pr provide a download total that's higher than what it turns out to be, the progress bar will get to 80%, and then it's done, and you're fine. So it's, oh. it's not an error. Interesting. Uh, so if you're unsure about the download total going Be conservative in. Yes. But the, I the idea behind this is we want to show the user, because if they look at that notification and it says, this website might is downloading using their 10 megabytes, you think, yeah. I'm fine with that. You don't want them to end up actually using 500 megabytes. Yeah, because they might be on their mobile plan and not on the Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. All of these are optional. If you don't provide a download total, you get an indeterminate thing. And our idea is. Oh, but is that's OK? It is OK, but the idea is like if the site's not going to tell you how much it's yeah. going to download, the user's more likely to cancel it because they're like, I, see. Well, I yeah, don't, that know makes sense. This, don't know what this is doing. I'm not getting any promises. So what's the name for? For getting it later on. So, ah, so okay. you get back a background fetch registration object. Uh, I don't actually have the, uh, they didn't do a code slide for this, but you can do SW reg, uh, background fetch dot get. You pass an ID, you get the registration back. And once you have the registration, uh, you can start doing things like this. So wait, what is BG fetch? So that's so that is uh, BG fetch. Here. Oh, sorry. This I'm is the registration object. So it's the same deal. That is the registration. So a new fetch returns your registration object. Not yes. like a normal fetch would return a response. This one gives you a registration object because progress is probably much more important in a long-running fetch yes. scenario. Yes, it is. And and this is like a, a grouped progress as well. Yeah. It's, it's for the whole thing. So you get these, you know, it's very similar to how XHR works. But this will also give you things like um, .id, which is the ID you've already provided. Yeah. You know, uh, things like uh, .abort, that you can cancel it from code. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, exactly. You might, might want to build your own UI for, for canceling it, right? Which exactly. you have in your thing. Exactly. Um, can it also do upload? That's a good question. Um, not in Chrome right now. Because one of the biggest issues in a long running issues is that fetch upload still doesn't have progress. And you always have to go back yeah. via either XHR or do a weird second channel to the server that reports back how, many, how much has been uploaded. So um, I yeah. feel like this would be a good fit. Chrome's current implementation doesn't support requests with a body. Mm. But the spec does, and because one of our use cases is yeah. uploading a gallery of photos. Yeah. Or and just so like you a want bigger to hit, profile picture. Hit send, put the phone in your pocket, don't care. Yeah. And like you know, you can set all that up when you're in airplane mode or offline, mm. and it will just figure stuff out. That's going to be interesting online. because I think resumable uploads are tricky. Resumable uploads are not in the spec, and it's one of the things that uh, me and a couple of engineers might look at next year. Oh. Uh, that would be 2019, the year of resumable uploads. Yeah, maybe. So as well as progress, you get it's on the same registration object. You can match things. This is very similar Meaning I can look into the record of an individual file of a grouped upload uh, yes. download thing. Yes. Okay. So this is me getting the podcast. Um, 
it will be it will resolve if undefined if it's not there. Um, then you get response ready, which is another promise for the ah. response, because you might not have the, the response yet. No, true. And the response might even if you fail. If you, if you queue up a 1,000 files and you match on the last one. Exactly, exactly. But this will give you an in-progress response as well. Oh, so, neat. so the idea is, like, as you're downloading the MP3, mm. you could start playing it. Um, that's not that bit's not supported in Chrome yet. Can I get access to the streams as well? Well, it, the response will. Oh, it will be a response object. object. So, response so the response body. ready says the same as in fetch. The headers have arrived, but yes. the body might still be in progress, and exactly. you can start. In, okay, that's cool. Exactly, exactly that. Um, so this is all stuff you can do on the page, mm -hmm. uh, but this is what happens in the service worker. You get top level events, background fetch success. So I get to blame you for this event name. Yes, you do. <laughs> I, I originally called it background fetched just to try and be shorter, but people said that's weird. <laughs> and I, I can see where they're coming from. Why not BG fetch the su success? Oh, uh, we've shipped now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> not changing it. I've been told that as long yeah. as only one browser has it, you can yeah. still change stuff. And, we, we, and it's not instable yet. So um, This doesn't minify. It's uh, a string. It, it, well, it'll gzip with the other only. <laughs> actually, there'll only be one of them. Actually, you'll have background fetch failed and background fetch abort as well are the free events you get in your service worker. I'll um, open an issue on the spec. Th thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, you get the registration object. Yeah. You know, it's the same that we saw oh, before. No, that's the same. OK, cool. And this is where background fetch success, after this event, those requests and responses are gone. Oh, so it's your responsibility to put them in the cache. Exactly. So this is this is what I'm essentially doing here. And this is yeah. one of the things we're thinking about making a helper method for, for like put these in that cache. Um, yeah, I mean we already have uh, cache.addall. Yes, but that takes just requests. I know, but I feel a similar helper method on a, a put, cache. A put all. Put, yeah, something. put all or some kind of transfer. Yes, that is what we're thinking. That seems um, reasonable. Because we also think it might be difficult for browsers to do this without copying and so, so a transfer. So if we think along that. videos, we say like they can be split into multiple files, um, and they're probably quite big. Yes. What's the story there with cache API? Because I feel like I, I would get wary about quotas and things. Well, if you've got it here, you're taking quota anyway. OK. So as long as we can implement this without copying, you're not doubling the quota. Um, that's why we're, we're thinking about introducing a transfer method to make it easier for browsers I to see. do that shift rather than it be a copy operation. Um, I mean, this is something you probably don't want to just easily lose because the browser needs to claim space. It'll probably be a good case also look at persistent storage API, whatever it's called. That is what I'm using in the HTTP 203 app as well. Oh, cool. So if you've been added to the home screen or bookmarked or there's been a, a strong signal of usage, mm -hmm. you can ask for persistent storage and you'll get it. The thing worth just asking for, and yeah. if you don't get it, Fine. Um, so another part of it, and this is the last bit. Background fetch click. Background fetch click. This let is me, oh, let me guess. When you tap on the notification? When you tap on the notification. Yes. And so again, you get the registration, and you can decide what to do based on maybe how the background fetch is I've doing. never used the clients dot thing to open something. I need to look into this. But this is really cool. So you get to decide how you react to a click, and apparently you're deciding what to do depending on whether the download is done or not, which yes. is cool. Exactly. Because if, if it's successful, we can go to the latest podcast. If it's not successful, uh, or so this would be if it's in progress or if yep. it's failed, just go to the download screen. Where presumably, you would have an error there or something. Yeah, something. Maybe. I don't oh, know. Oh, cool. Um, I was just kind of making this up. But yeah, and uh, so as a result, this is this is what you get for that. This, this kind of download system where you can just sort of click a load of stuff and it will just happen. And if the tab closes, if, you, if you're offline when you press these things, it, it will still work. You said in Canary behind a flag? It's in Canary behind a flag. And we are going to move to an origin trial for it. Um, so the details will, will Do be Do we have an soon. article on this by any chance? I have it ready to land at some point. It might have landed by the time this video comes You'll out. You'll find out by looking in the notes. In which case, there'll be a link down the, the what's, what's even, that bit? Below, the, the, below the our faces. Yeah. yeah. Also, can we appreciate exactly. in this nice parallax? Oh. And, and we'll, yes, we'll link to an article of how to do that as well. <laughs> Brilliant. We can cut out how long this is taking to connect. Oh, look, it's blazingly fast. To connect. I mean, it's, it's just an authentic experience. Is it kicking you out? There we go. Connected no internet. Come on. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, Figure it out. Mate. Come on. Hey. Hey, 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 that's good. Right.